I knew it! I knew it! She's the freaking outpost face man! Ugh. See, I, I went to go to the rope just to see if anything would change. And sure enough, here we go. So you're heading towards this direction. The mines have been abandoned for a long time. I can't guarantee that it's safe. If you must enter it, it's my duty to accompany, accompany you at least once. Oh, thanks. She is the head whatever man face. Lady person. There's a little gadget on the ground. It looks kind of like a camera. <gasps> it's a lens! That's what's left of a camera. Probably even part of a robot at one point. Oh. Or not. I don't know. It's another one of the shrimp jars. Why don't you just take a shrimp jar? Shrimp are delicious and they provide light. It seems... Ah, uh, whatever. Oh, wait. I can see a faint yellow glow in the distance. Don't stand so close to the edge. Oh, sorry. I was like, even the engine sort of collapsed off. Without a vehicle, we can't proceed. Can't we walk? I can. But for you, if it's a safety violation, the world has ended and we're trying not to perform safety violations. I'm pretty sure being alive in this place is a safety violation. What's ahead anyway? It's a huge network of underground mines, sources of metal and non fossil fuels, that propelled their world into the industrial age. So now it's lost forever? It's been for a while now. When the sun went out, the mines were the first. were the first to be abandoned amidst the initial panic. She's so calm about this. Even the robots have all cleared out and repurposed. That makes sense. There was one that always insisted on going back. Oh, I hope he's okay. Aw, oh, that's that one dude. She was right, too. Do be careful in here. Okay, let's... Combine the battery with the camera. What do you mean? What do you mean? Use the scroll driver to pull the lens out. Okay. There you go. Lens and... <laughs> How did that destroy both the camera and <laughs> the screwdriver? Whatever, put the lens in. Lens pops right in. We're using the sun directly on the battery? I never would have thought of that. Good thinking, Tap Tap. How would you not think of that? That is literally what it tells you to do. Neko's not very smart. That was fast. Okay. Okay, that, that was really... <laughs> I did things in the wrong order and I just assumed that I couldn't go back. I, I guess I should have known, because, um... Wait, where am I going? Ugh. I don't know why this menu gives me so much trouble. But, wait, not entrance. Uh, outpost. Wait, so does this guy come back to life if I put this, pop this back in there? Uh, or do I put the battery inside the robot? I don't really know how this works. Oh, wait, no, I need to charge the, the whole station, maybe? So this thing fits in there. So maybe this is not a personal power cell. Let's hope the charge battery does something. Boop. Whoa. I guess it's back alive. Oh! I just got shocked. Sh Ow. Okay. Poor Nico. Oh, hey, the computer! Oh my god, you're alive. That's actually kind of scary. Hello. I am functional. I can walk. <laughs> oh, I thought those were his arms waving in the air. Like, yeah, I'm functional, baby! Which, honestly, is probably how I would react. What's up, my friend? Everybody... I was expecting we would just fix that one robot, but I guess everybody's alive now. That's pretty cool. I am functional. Did you power the generator? I guess we did! Right, Tap Tap? Heck yeah. What's up, computer face? I see you've made progress in this world, Tap Tap. I don't like the computer voice. But that progress app's here. I knew it! I knew it! You're trying to screw me up. You're evil. Oh. I believe you need a code to unlock a certain box. Well, the code no longer exists in this world. Do you understand what that means, Tap Tap? Oh, you tricky bugger. Good. Start looking. Oh, no. Um. Um. Let's open up uh, some, um, my documents is the obvious place, which has garbage freaking everywhere. Um, yeah, look at my documents. Look at this. Look at this. Dedication games, arc system work, it keeps, look, it's just, people just dump all of their crap and they don't like put it all in. I actually have a, a documents folder in my documents for my actual documents because all of the rest is just garbage. Um, a couple of things use my games. Actually, well, about... I have about two dozen in my games, so that's nice. I think there's a second folder that's games. There's saved games. There's saved games without a space. 
It's just a mess. It's just a mess. Where's one shot? Is there a one shot folder? No, there is not. Um. Oh, this is gonna be. Wait, what is all of this crap? Let's delete all of those. Ugh, I have, for some reason, a bunch of my um, old uh, movie studio platinum things are in here. Untitled PNG. <laughs> yeah, that's that's obviously. This is um, this is our key right here. <laughs> okay, that's not. This is why I'm I'm not showing the thing because I, I don't think most of this is actually relevant. Um, is there like? Oh wait. Oh, I'm stupid. Sort by date modified. Document dot one shot dot txt. He, he, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Document dot one shot dot txt. Um. <laughs> message to you. I'm afraid I must make it brief. I have left you a journal. Part of it is written in the language of <laughs> and I have also <laughs> a metal safe in the top quarry to the east. Somewhere between the ocean and the lookout post. The code is you need is oh! So the code bit is uh, totally not messed up. I have so much for conjunction here. I was kind of hoping it would be put on the desktop. Um, but it was not. Anyway. I have the code. The code we need is 132010. Wonderful. Oh, go away, Mr. Mouse. I forgot Mr. Mouse is, is invited to the party because of how I'm recording this. So Mr. Computer Friend actually isn't trying to kill me. It's just like hints, I guess. It was seeming kind of ominous there. Where is Mr. Mr. Safe Man? I don't think it's this way. Where's the safe? I like our glowy footprints. I wish I had glowy footprints. Metal safe. Uh, one, three, two, zero, one. Whoa, it worked! Wait, how'd you know the code tap tap? I still don't remember seeing one. You calm down, UPS. I don't know what... I must have had a power blip. I don't know if you could hear it last episode, but my sump pump was going crazy, and I had to turn it off. It does that once in a while, where it just goes nuts, and it doesn't drain, and I just have to unplug it. Now my UPS is going off. My, my house has... The person who owned it prior rewired themselves, and it was a disaster. And then my dad redid a decent amount of it for the uh, the downstairs. But my house needs renovation. Is the main point. Hopefully that will happen this year. It's I've been waiting for like two freaking years. I don't entirely need all of the space, but it's like I can't really set up all of my stuff until I have all of the space. So it kind of sucks. Anyway, I have my ways. I'm mysterious, I say as I stroke my non-existent goatee. I see. What's in the safe? What's in the box? All right. Ah, I found a gas mask. I knew it. Also, this is a weird looking book. I can't read it though. Not that I can't read or anything, because I can. I, I can totally read. <laughs> I just don't know what language this is. Oh, oh, that looks bad. What is that? Uh oh. Uh oh, it's glitchy times. I love things with like, I love the whole meta narrative going on. I, this is probably why it was recommended to me. Though I did, I wanted to check it out myself. I just was a lazy button and didn't get around to it. Uh, let's go to the docks, I guess. Strange journal on the Barons. Wait, is that a? I oh, know that's a club, not a spade. Well, I'm gonna go see if whatever face lady can translate it. You know this book? Ah, oh, damn it. Excuse me, Mr. Fun's book. Do you know anything about it? Let me see. What language is this? I'm sorry, I don't even recognize this writing system. Yeah, it was worth a shot. One shot, you might say. Although, this insignia. Hold on to the journal for now. 
It'll be important. Uh, okay. Poor Nico. Uh, let's go to the docks. Mr. Robot Man. Wait, actually... Let's just go to the gas mask place. <laughs> He's so cute with his little gas mask. I should be fine with his mask on. Look at him. It's a gas vent. Ah, uh, delicious poison. Ooh! This pond sure looks different. The water looks like jelly. It's formed a bubble over the surface of this pond. Let's, let's get some jelly! You want me to fill the bottle with the stuff, Tap Tap? It's too goopy to fit in the bottle opening. It's like that one time years ago when I tried to put <laughs> tomato chowder in a baby bottle. Then it got everywhere! On the table, on the clothes, on the baby, on the baby's clothes. The grown ups thought it was hilarious. They took a bunch of pictures. Then they taught me how to use funnels. Oh, we need a funnel, don't we? Then they also told me I shouldn't try to babysit until I'm older. Anyway, I should probably look for a funnel or something. I like the little interactions between Nico and you. The sky is dark. That it is. Do you know the sun will be back up? We're working on it. I guess all the robots are alive now, briefly. Though I guess I can recharge them at any time. This is actually pretty cool. I guess they're... I guess they're gonna be alright. Uh, what's this? Initially, the amount of noxious fumes emitted by this natural gas vent caught our team off guard. Thank goodness the medical team reacted as quickly as they did. Despite its failure, the first expedition did bring up some interesting observations about the Barrens. We found that there's not one, but two such vent zones. The fumes being pumped out of such high concentrations. It seems a miracle the gas hasn't spread anywhere else. Our biologists consider the phosphor shrimp in the crater pools actively consuming the gas. The shrimp in the ocean also prevent the gas from wafting off into the glen. If that's the case, we owe a lot to these little guys. Thank your local shrimp today. This one's different. It's like on the ground. Guess you want me to fill the bottle with this gas tap tap? That ought to do it. We now have a bottle full of poison! Yay! I'm not sure why, but hey. I can't take this off here, Tap Tap! <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I'm not sure what I have poison gas for, but it let me do it. I like the fast travel system, though. My I'm not one for wasting lots of time in games. I I do appreciate anything done to reduce grind or just general time wastage. Hello, do you need any help? I'm good, thanks. You don't know that we don't need help. We're trying to frick them fix the sun. What the hell? Infirmary. Okay. A glowing floating sign seems excessive, but whatever. It's a note. It's two notes. Some kind of mechanical drawing. Evacuation such short notice? I can't believe this. First the sun dies, now I have a job! Priorities. Aw, rip. That is an incredibly unsafe ladder. I'm scared of ladders. I'm scared of ladders now too. Nice ambient music in this game. I really like the feel and uh, just the general, well, feel of the game. Looks like we're supposed to pack stuff for the evacuation starting today. Wish these books weren't so heavy. I guess these are the humans leaving. It's going to be a pain to carry them onto the ship. But then by the author, we can't just throw them away. Okay, so there's some important author person. Hey, sweetie, six more weeks until you can come home. Bad time, huh? Gosh, I can't imagine living that awful capsule wall dorn thing. But guess what? Soon you'll get to sleep in a real bed and eat real food again. Right back soon. Love, mom. Oh, that was that was uh, that was not a mom voice. Oh, yeah, that was not mom voice. I hope that wasn't a mom voice. If that was your mom's voice, I feel sorry for you. Hello, organic person who is alive. Yeah, I get called that a lot. Infirmary is up ahead. Hello, person of organic makeup. Welcome to the infirmary. <laughs> These robots are very rude. Scanning for injuries. Um, scanning complete. Injuries detected? None. Treatment required? None. You're good to go. Thanks. It's a 
box of medical tools. Must not have broken or rusted beyond repair, but this plastic syringe seems to be okay. Oh, I bet that's what we use the, uh, to get the goop in, maybe. The needle is particularly long. Oh, wait, maybe not. Hello, person. Are you seeking admission to the infirmary? No? Oh, carry on then. I guess things are a little less dire than I figured since uh, all the robots seem to be okay. Oh, this is a big place. I think I'll finish exploring around here and we'll call it a video. Oh. There are a lot of people here. Picture of a robot. No, I've been around so never been around so many robots before, tap tap. Or any robots at all. I mean I see them in cartoons and stuff, but I never see one in person. They're pretty neat, don't you think? <laughs> they go to a robot voice! <laughs> yes. That is the exact response that I would make. What? <laughs> Try talking like a robot. Um, ahem. Beep boop. I am a robot and I eat batteries instead of normal people food. It's kind of racist, Nico. That is not correct. <laughs> that is not correct! <laughs> you just got served! Robots do not consume batteries in the same way people consume food. In fact, robots do not possess digestive systems. You just got served, Nico! Check your frickin' privilege. Some robots do not even have mouths. God damn it, Nico. I can't take you anywhere. <laughs> tap, tap. You made me look silly. <laughs> That's the plan. Poor Nico. Dang. Big place checking, checking. Terminal does not respond. This is a problem. So the ink on this page is faded. Like to do some electrical or magnetic interference. I'm afraid this operation can no longer be sustained. If the servers do not if the servers continue to fail so much the maintenance cannot keep up the pace. Fortunately it does not seem to be happening to the robots, at least not at a sufficient significant rate. Time will tell. All these terminals do not boot. I am not sure what to do now. I mean, if you're a robot, you are the computer, but whatever. This place is freaking huge! Whoa! Hello! Okay, whoa. Do, do not touch me. Hello, friend. Huh? A living person such as yourself should have evacuated this place a long time ago. I can't do the robot voices. I just got here. To this world, I mean. See? I have the sun. Oh, the Messiah. I do not know what to say. Greetings. Greeting you is not part of my programming. Have you spoken to Prophet... <laughs> Prophet Bot? I know I saw that before, but... Just calling him Prophet Bot is amazing. Prophet Bot was built to the same with the sole purpose of greeting you. Imagine that. That would be... That is a heck of a life. Yes, yeah, so you cannot speak with anyone else. At least not with these. Oh, that's kind of sad. What are you built for, then? My purpose is to guard my settlement. Okay. You the residents are long gone. I must remain. Ah, why, though? I have not been tamed. Tamed? It was not worth the effort. What do you mean? Okay, th this settlement is too big. Uh, I'm going to cut here, and we'll continue exploring the settlement later.